Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, The After Years Blindly. Today, we are going to start Ridius Terrell, and once again, I am by myself. No more friend Brainiac with me. Um, he was with me because, you know, he's a friend of mine who has helped me immensely through the first game, and we sit here and literally talk, like, several hours a week about just crap about this game. We are such geeks, and it is awesome, so... Once again, even though I put it in the video description of every single video then, I apologize for the less than stellar video quality due to an accident, and obviously the audio quality, because we were, well, recording with an external mic in a hotel room. I tried to fix it as best I could in editing, but nonetheless, you know, but the important thing is we were having a lot of fun doing that, so. And I presume this is going to be the grave of Rhea's mother, considering we're in mist. Play some music! Hi, Rydia, how are you doing? Oh, they don't even get names, huh? Um, she can go where she wants, can't she? It's Edward! Hi, Edward, how are you doing? Well, well this has got to be more toward the, uh more recent rather than the after <laughs> because Edward still looks the same. Wait, how did he come in through that way? Wouldn't you be... I, I don't know. I'm not going to question this stuff. Because he's your friend. He's a sweetheart. Well, considering they like rebuilt that thing in like a year, which is pretty awesome, so... Yeah. See? Edward's a swell guy. Well, why are you surprised at this, Rydia? I would expect him of all people to be the one helping out that much because, you know... What? Are we having a party here in, R in Rydia's tail? I mean, I'm glad to see Edge and all, but... I'm the king! Uh-oh. Embezzling your kingdom, huh? Huh? I phrase that word told that phrase totally wrong because I was thinking of two different things at the same time. But what does it matter? I'm the freaking king. Hello? Yeah, we know very well where you're sneaking off to, Edge. Don't deny it. Hooray! Yeah, Young is a sweetheart too. Why are you surprised by this, Rydia? Yeah, apparently this is a big party over here. Sid? What are you doing? What's going on? What are we taking so lightly? Oh, what's going on? And Rydia just showed up out of nowhere. Ah, okay. Yeah, what is Cecil so calm? I mean, I know I said Sid freaking out, but... Oh, okay, realistic baby cry, get out of my game. Maybe, like, they, like, drug Cecil up on something or whatever. No, not so sweet. Yeah, he's definitely drugged up on something. Please don't tell me they're going to ask Rydia to do this. <laughs> well, probably not, considering I already know who's the hell, what the hell his name is. So. Apparently they didn't want to tell anyone, because it's kind of a stupid name. I mean, I get the significance, and it does... I have to give him credit for, you know, trying to be somewhat original, but at the same time, you know, having something, another name to go on, as, it, you know, they didn't, like, completely pull this other butt, but even so, it's... It's an awkward name. But, hey. So, are we done with the flashbacks from, like, 16-something years ago now? Oh, great. A bunch of whining children. How are we gonna deal with this? Hey, Rishi. Oh, 
no. So wait, if she's in the Fey March, like, all the time, isn't she, like, gonna be, like, older than, like, everybody else? Because, you know, time passes faster there, so she gets, I mean, she grew, like, in the first game, like, ten years in, what, maybe a matter of, of weeks, months? I mean, nobody know, really knows how long the, the, the original war was taking place all over, but still, she aged a ton, so... She's here a lot. She's probably getting pretty old. And still probably looks hot as ever. And, well, your character portrait looks nothing like you. I'm sorry. At least her hair's different. Because this is my home? What is with people in this game and crappy... Well, I wouldn't say crappy, but these awkward hair pieces. Yeah, it's time for you to flee the nest, Rydia. Something's going on here. Isn't this like the scene we saw earlier? Like, isn't like Mysterious Girl gonna show up and turn him to stone? Isn't this like the same scene? Or is this slightly different? Why don't you visit me then? I mean, we know they're capable well, of coming to the surface world because number one, she's a summoner and she summons them all the time. And number two, freaking Leviathan came in and sank my ship and didn't apologize for it. Oh, what's going on? Okay, so I guess it is the same scene. I guess. I don't know. It's been like three weeks since we recorded the actual first session, so. <laughs> this girl needs a name, and I haven't figured out what the heck I'm going to name her yet. Yeah, this is the same scene. It's got to be. I'll call her Cindy, okay? And her arm is really long in that scene. And my kitty cat just woke up. So prepare for some interruptions from her. She was sleeping quietly on my bed. And it takes us like six minutes to get into the actual title. And she's totally just passed out right here. Oh, they turned to stone, that's why. I was going to say, like nobody's helping her. Hi. Does anyone have any golden needles? <laughs> God damn it, Rydia. It sucks that you can't cast white magic anymore. Hey, Rosa, you want to help us out here? But that is okay, because... They can still talk to me. Okay. So, apparently, Rydia has the power of telepathy. Nice. But first, we are going to raid the treasures in this place. See, we'll go down there later because this is the upper level, so... Can I even buy anything from the shop because they're all petrified, or...? Okay, maybe not. Okay. At least they, you know, like, um... Acknowledge that, yeah, you kind of can't sell anything. They'd be like, yeah, Rydia, uh, I have some ethers on the shelf. Uh, you can take it if you leave the gill on the counter. Why not save the game? I have the spot right here. Now, how much you want to bet? Eventually, I'm going to do something stupid and accidentally save over one of my files. I probably will at some point. Sure, are you going? I bet you Rudy's like, tell me what the hell is going on first! So, actually. Okay, our summons are gone. I need to rearrange these spells. I was gonna say, I'm like, where the hell is that? I don't have bio! <laughs> Alright. These the same books as before. Chocobo! Giant chickens are so fun.
Yeah, okay. Yeah, or just people with the float spell. And crap, I don't have that. Now, I wanted to go to this one. Alright, so let's go downstairs. Hi. You're not fading away. How can you fade away? You're... I'm pretty sure these are the same things. Yeah, okay. So we don't need to read this crap then. They're like, no! Because you didn't, you screwed up and you didn't kick me all the way out. Oh, cutscene, that's why. Yep, why is it your fault? Who the hell says this is your fault? Did it occur to you that maybe they wanted to kick you out so this wouldn't happen to you? I mean, it's obvious to me. And more flashback time. You can totally imagine, like, Cecil and Kay just sitting there like, What the hell is going on here? Oh, is she gonna cry again? Alright, let's get out of here. We're like ten minutes in the video and I haven't done crap. I already went up there. Okay, let's talk to you. Hi. I don't know, because you're insanely powerful creatures. It hurts. Ew. I thought there's like wine bottles like on every single table. Now off. So apparently some people can't see now. On a date with who? Like one of the chickens that used to be here or something? I don't know. Who the hell knows? Alright, let's go back downstairs. Because we have more. Or rather, is this upstairs? Honestly, I don't know and I don't really care right now. I have treasure to raid. Ooh, ice rod. Alright. You're being... I do have to say, I do like Rhea's sprite, although you can see her cleavage. Uh, equipment. What do you got? A whip? No, get the ice rod on. It disturbs me how Rydia has a whip for a weapon. Okay, how the hell do I get out of here? Oh, I have to... Oh, you're gonna make me go through the long way. Like, I don't have the instant warp to get out of the passage. No. Now, I was told... Yeah, okay. I was told a long time ago at one point that you would have to journey through a place of dangerous terrain and you would not have the float spell, but you would be compensated by the fact that you wouldn't need it. Oh look! Monsters! Wow! They're freaking everywhere! Rydia, you dumb shit. You have black magic. Cause maybe they're turned to stone, you dummy! Seriously! Oh my god, Rydia, you've gotten dumb in the past 17 years. I have no idea what these guys are. Okay, but that works anyway. Alright. Alright, so can I get that chest over there? I'm gonna set these guys on fire. Excuse me. Oh, I can go partially through the wall, but not all the way to get my damn chest over there. How do I get those? Mm. Yes, I'm gonna whine. There we go. Okay. Okay. Alright, now get me out of the passage and let me get the heck out of here. Oh, great. Now I gotta go back and get that one because I'm obsessive. Oh, look. More things I can set on fire. Beautiful. Okay, these eye moths look like they have those, like, static dustery things as antenna. That's pretty funny. And there goes my cat playing with the toys. Okay, so I guess I gotta go this way to go get that treasure. And hooray, I remembered how to get to it. I am awesome.
Oh, it's fun turning auto battle on and off. Okay, that is the answer. Okay, so I gotta have all the treasure in here. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Get me out of here. Oh, look, regular goblins. I'm actually gonna use thunder on you. Thundercats! Ho! I have no idea where the hell that just came from. I haven't even seen the new Thundercats series, by the way. Though I kind of would like to. I was a fan of Thundercats when I was a kid, so. Watching it in after schools. Yeah, it's great. Okay, get me the hell out of here. I'm running out of MP. This wasn't here before, was it? I'm gonna waste a tent. And I haven't even leveled yet. You know, I completely forgot about the goddamn moon phases, too. Crud. I don't even get all my MP back because I'm not... Don't have any cottages. That kind of sucks in serious balls. No, no secret passage here? Okay, fine. Well, it's a good thing these things are uh, still insanely weak because obviously my black magic has diminished. Which is kind of sucky. But we'll manage because I'm still killing everything in one hit. And wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? Look what I just got! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! How common is that in here anyway? I mean. Should I do it? Should I? I, I'm not going to for now, because I don't know if I want to wait or anything. Like, because I know I have to import a bunch of crap later. She's going to keep it, or... A sandworm! Sandworms! I'm totally going to use my crappy ice rod on you, because that is awesome. Look at that pretty snowflake. 29 damage! Oh yeah, Uria is a badass. Oh yeah! It's a little more like it. I finally freaking leveled up. Get me the heck out of here. And surprisingly, my cat's not bothering me today. She's simply just playing with her toys. Can I have some treasure, please? Thank you. More treasure up here. Thank you. Alright, if I missed any treasure in there, too freaking bad. Luca? What? What, are you all friendly with Luca now? What'd they do? Drop you off here, and then you came in, and then you got kicked? Like, what? Like, why is Luca supposed to be out here? Would she be, like, sitting out here waiting for three days after you visited? Although, surprise, well, I guess with a... You have black magic, you idiot! I suppose with, uh, you know, time passing differently there, she'd probably spend, like, a week there, and it'll be five minutes past outside. So we'll just go with that. Now, why was this necessary? She has black magic. Seriously. She has black magic. Do I need to... Like, that's how she got through the passage there with her black magic. You're not just a summoner, Rydia. And Luca looks nothing like the cute little girl she did 17 years ago. Wait, 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 wait. Let's back up a second. You were surprised that Luca was not there with the Falcon. She just arrived in the Falcon. Where the hell do you think she, ca she, think she came from? Seriously. Think about this for a half a second, ready? Ya? Okay, now apparently she works for Sid. Okay. Why are you worried about this? Yeah, my question exactly. Well, from what we've seen so far, there has been nothing to do with the crystals. Nothing. So why, I mean, I can understand if she's like, I get a really bad feeling about this or something like that, but it, it, 
it's making it seem like Rydia knows more than she should. Oh no, monsters are having orgies. No! Why the hell wouldn't he? Oh, oh, great. Another overprotective father. Huh? Alright. How much you want to bet in Yang's tail, you know, with Ursula over there, he's going to be an overprotective dad. It's the way it goes in these games, doesn't it? Excuse me! Who the hell are you and why are you bummed the shit out of my castle? Excuse me! Excuse me! What the hell? Wait, 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 you're telling me that the little dwarf can jump on the ship, but poor Rydia needs the ladder or the dock or whatever the hell that thing is supposed to be. You kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay. Why was this necessary? Why couldn't they just, like, skip that part? Why was it necessary to show that? I don't know. And damn, the falcon flies fast now. Well, faster. Now, I love how the castle has no apparent damage on the outside. At least at least when, you know, Damsian had the crap bombed out of it, at least it actually looked like it had been bombed. And this is just <laughs> looking perfectly hunky-dory and everything. Actually, um... Let's see what Lucas got, actually. I don't even know what the hell she can do. Because we know we never had her before. Okay, I didn't think she could use magic. Oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta worry about bands and crap. Oh, God. See, now I don't have any, like, extra help. Because when Brainiac was with me, he wasn't... T he was only... Uh, the only knowledge I had due to his help was what you heard on the actual commentary. He actually had, like, a notebook full of notes that only he saw. I didn't see any of that, so... Any help or any advice given was everything you guys heard on that commentary, so I didn't have any foreknowledge of what was going on. You know, any help was exactly what you would see. What the hell was I looking at? I was looking at her, uh, her that, yeah. Oh, she gets analyzed too! Weak point for massive damage. She only's level 10 though, but she still has more. Um, HP than Rydia. But pretty much everybody has more HP than Rydia! <laughs> Alright. So, I guess it's gonna be the end of the first episode here. Um, nothing really much happened, but I assume that it's gonna change very quickly here. So, thank you for watching, everybody. See you later!